Hey, strength camp week nine. It's a lower body battle with a twist. So uh, we're working some isometric contractions for most of them or balance. Uh, so it's going to start with 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, repeat six rounds. First exercise is a wall sit. So set yourself up against the wall, low back presses into the wall, try to sink to 90 degrees. Option to put a weight plate on your lap to make it a little bit more challenging. Uh, alternate option, bringing it up, to reducing that angle. After that, you've got a glute bridge hold. You're going to do it on the Swiss ball, so lying on your back. You're going to press your heels into the Swiss ball, bridge up, knees, hips, shoulders are in alignment, holding at the top. Option, come down and back up as needed within that 20 seconds. Uh, after that, you're going to be going for a airplane hold, um, an airplane hold, sorry. Just planting on one foot. Hinging those hips back, holding on that one leg for balance. You'll then switch to the other side. Option here, hold the wall as needed to work that balance. Um, after that, you have a sissy squat hold. Coming up onto the toes, pushing the knees forward, squeezing the glutes. You're going to feel this in your quad. You're going to sink as low as you can. And then you're going to hold it there. Proud chest, try not to cave forward. Keep the knees, hip, shoulders aligned. Option, hold the wall for balance here. Then you have a farmer's carry mark, so you've got to grab a heavier set of dumbbells. Uh, you're going to hold them off your body out to the side. Tuck the pelvis, engage the core. And then for the first round, one side, so it's going to be that march hold. So your knee's going to be up at 90 degrees. You're balancing and squeezing the glute of the leg that's down. Then you'll alternate every time. Option, reduce your weight or bring your foot down, toe on the ground for a little bit of balance support. Then you got a dead bug hold with tension. So we're going to be using the yoga block and a mini band if you have those. If not, no sweat. Uh, the yoga block um, this way. So not the widest way, but not the narrowest way. In between the knees, the band on the wrist, knees right above the hips, ankles in line with the knees. Put the band right below the wrist. Tension on that band, low back pushes into the floor and you're holding, you're creating tension by pulling the band apart and squeezing the knees together. Low back squeezes into the floor. Option, ditch the mini band or ditch the yoga block and work that hold. Make sure no space between the low back and the floor. Um, to finish it off, um, you've got reverse hyperextension. Grabbing my equipment that I forgot. Uh, you're gonna be on the lovely Bosu ball hips above that mid line and then you're going to be using your hands on the floor to support bend through the knees and then push the heels to the ceiling and squeeze the glutes option come down as needed but you're supposed to try to hold it for those 20 seconds total at the top uh, and then finally the last one is a sumo squat pulse uh, so you're going to grab that kettlebell or dumbbell if you want whatever you got at the gym Feet are wider, then your hips, knees and toes out, turn. You're going to sink to the bottom of your sumo squat and you're just going to pulse there, coming up an inch or two, staying as low as you can. Option, reduce your weight or that range of motion. Hope you enjoy.